Hello you beautiful audience. This is Reddit Stories. And today's topic is 9 Confession Stories Part 70 1. Happened 10 or so years ago. Was visiting my grandma with my family. One day we decided to check out the town fair, pretty cool, pretty cool. Coming back to my grandma's from the fair, I passed a guy and his GF, presumably walking to said fair. Now a few yards after passing this lovely couple I look down on the pavement and see a hundred dollars in twenty dollar bills. I knew it belonged to the person that just passed me. But instead of giving it to the guy I ran up to my mom yelling I found money in my little kid voice. I ended up buying four to five Skylanders with that one hundred dollars. The thing I think about the most is what the reaction of the guy must have been when he realized he doesn't have his money with him, to take his girlfriend to a fair and not being able to pay for it whilst I smartly invested in some worthless figurines. Also one of the Skylanders lit up when you would put it on the portal. So I would say the money didn't go completely to waste. 2. I was several hours late to my first day of summer school when I was 17 and by doing so they were supposed to kick me out and I would have failed the courses. So I walked in crying about how my best friend killed himself, which he had the year before. I didn't get in trouble, they let me in. I felt kind of bad but I also think one would have gotten a kick out of it. 3. I sprinkled some four lidocaine on the toilet seat in the men's locker room at the fire station in response to a prank where the male firefighters took all the toilet paper out of the women's bathroom, and everywhere else in the station, and then hid it all in the attic. The guy who sat on the toilet seat was an older firefighter, and a really nice guy who had nothing to do with the pranks. He was really freaked out about his ass and balls going numb, and thought he was having a heart attack or something. I felt terrible. Sad face. 4. I used to live at a disabled home back in the early 80s, my dad was in a wheelchair, and there was a computer lab there. I used to play Elite on the only BBC machine there, which was the only decent machine there really. I didn't like it when I got to the lab and someone else was using the machine, so whenever I'd finished playing Elite, I'd steal the monitor cable and take it home so none of the disabled people could use it. I will burn. 5. I had this 4 months pregnant teacher when I was on the second grade. As a kid, I'm really active and like to run around the room during break. One day, the bell rang and we need to sit our asses down on our chair. Me and two of my buddies, keep running around and playing. Suddenly, my teacher pops out in front of me and I bump her belly real hard. She said that really hurts and she needs to talk to my parents. Two days after that incident my teacher called in sick and we got a substitute teacher. A week after that, my mom told me that my teacher got a miscarriage. I've never seen that teacher again. I never really know if I did it or not. But on my young mind, it's my fault and it'll forever scar me. 6. I don't know if it was the worst, but it is up there. When I was in high school, I put a firecracker in a friend's toilet. I don't know why, I thought it would be funny. When it went off, it cracked the toilet in a few places and it started to leak a little. My friend, who was a bigger guy, came to see what the noise was and I explained to him that it was the toilet seat dropping. He told me to get the hell out because he needed to use the bathroom and I figured it was a great chance to have a great prank play out and to get out of trouble. After about 10 seconds, I heard a noise from the bathroom, like plates hitting a floor but not breaking, and then an agonizing howl. The scream scared the shit out of me and after a few minutes he came out of the bathroom in his boxers with blood all over the place. Turns out that he sat on the toilet and it broke, slicing him up pretty good. I never told him what happened and he blamed his weight for it, gave him a complex for the rest of school. I still feel bad about it. 7. I still feel horrible for doing this. I used to fight with my sister over stupid things like the television remote. 
Well when I was about 8 years old I got angry and punched her where she was resting her hands on her stomach. Her hands were covering a lump under her shirt where her hamster's newborn babies were resting. I had no idea until she showed me. I ended up killing 3 out of 5. I felt so sick. My sister and I are best friends now. 8. Back in my teens, so I had an ex once that was bullied horrifically by another girl. I wanted to impress her so with her help I hacked into her bully's PC slash email, it was easier in those days. I learned some shit about her and created a fake perfect boyfriend for her on a dating site she had signed up to. She only spoke to this guy through email, and she fell in love with him, we knew this from hacking her email. Then, on my GF's birthday I had this guy stand the girl up brutally in a club in front of us while she watching my GF have a great time. This is pretty evil, I regret it and I can't blame my ex for talking me into it. What I do blame my ex for is lying. I found out later that my ex was the original bully, all along. TL, DR my ex was a sociopath and I enabled her to scar a girl for life. 9. During a game of minnows and whales at a public pool I faked drowning. I was being brought to the surface which is part of the game and decided to let my body go limp. I lay face down for a few seconds on the surface before someone dragged me out. They laid me beside the pool and began panicking. I just lay there with my eyes closed and breathing as slow and deep as I possibly could. Everyone around me was convinced I had stopped breathing. An ambulance was called to the scene and arrived with siren blaring and lights flashing. The paramedics did not know what to make of it as I began sporadically panting and then holding my breath again. They decided to rush me to the hospital. It took the doctor about 30 seconds to realize I was faking it. I heard my mom arrive and heard the doctor say to her he is just laying there with his eyes closed, take him home. She came and got me and we went home. I then proceeded to bury that memory as deep as I could. Sorry world. This marks the end of the video. If you like my content, consider subscribing as it helps me a lot. See you until next time.